Well, hey everybody, it's Grady here at Uncle Sweetie's Model Works. Uh, this video is from a road trip I took the 1st of September. Um, you may have seen my video about the Vietnam Memorial moving wall. This is one of the hobby shops that I stopped at along the way on that trip. Um, if I didn't say before, I'd gone out to, I live in Kansas City, I'd gone out to Chicago-ish, Northern Illinois to um, hang out with with my friend Gary and my nieces and nephews, his kids, and uh, went to see the, uh, not Marilyn Manson, Brain Park, Rob Zombie, Alice Cooper, Ministry show in, at the amphitheater in Tinley Park. That's what the road trip was about. On the way, I stopped at the hobby shop in Ames, Iowa. And the name of the hobby shop is The Hobby Shop. A uh, gentleman I spoke with said they, he is the third owner of the business. And it has been in business continuously since 1949. Same same business, same name, same location, whole thing. Um, it, it's really a fabulous hobby shop. Um, plastic models, you know, kits, cars, boats, planes, military, armor, all those kinds of things, trains rockets uh yeah the, the whole nine yards um they've steered away from rc so it is a traditional old school hobby shop and what else was in there they they did have a good selection of gundams i mean you you want paints and you want scenery and you want train parts and layouts and dios and oh my lord Really, really nice. Really nice selection of everything. Just packed full and a very nice, in interesting building in a historic small town, downtown main square kind of place. It was really, I was really glad I stopped there. And I did get a kit, actually. Crap. I'm going to have to get up. You know what? I'm going to pause. Of course I didn't do the tour. And not uh buy something boom the del rio ranch wagon by monogram and of course y'all know this don't buy stuff when you're in a hurry because when i got home i got one of these what am i gonna do um i i heard one of you i heard you you right there i heard you Put it in the next giveaway. I'm probably not going to do that. This is a... I haven't really looked through one. Either one of the ones that I have now. But it's real heavy. So it feels like a good kit. Nice kit. Lots of stuff in it probably. Um, I like the traditional stock standard back in the day period correct paint version. I like the police car version. I may keep both kits and do both versions. I may keep both kits <laughs> and need another Pro Street Chevelle and Pro Street the Del Rio Ranch Wagon. I'm going to do one of those two things, most most likely. Either build a regular, the, the, cru the cruising wagon and a police version or a Pro Street version. So that's what's going to happen to that. But I kind of wish I hadn't bought it. But I did. So whatever. Alright. So if you're ever in Ames, Iowa. Which is about 20 minutes-ish north of Des Moines. Stop by the hobby shop. Give them a look through. What, whatever your, your hobby happens to be that's in the realm of our world. Um, I didn't see anything in the way of games and, and Warhammer type stuff. Uh, trains, rockets, Gundam, slot cars, 
Pinewood Derby, uh, armor, yeah, all that, all that stuff. And yeah, plenty, plenty of supplies. Um, had had some older kits for sure to choose from. But yeah, definitely stop in there and uh, give them a give them a look. Give them a look. Um, I I am getting. I enjoy supporting those kinds of model model shops or hobby shops in general. You know, they they don't have to be just models like that one. Um, as big as Kansas City is, I don't know. So right now, my favorite is a local train shop here in my suburb of Independence. And I may do a tour of that here sometime, and and put them on, put them on, put them on the tubes. I have a hobby haven in Kansas City. We have a hobby town in Kansas City. Both of those do have train stuff, do have rocket stuff, do have cars, do have armor. In my opinion in my experience in my feeling when I go into shop they care about RC and that just is what it is so I don't know I, I wish I had one of these small town old old fashioned hobby stores in Kansas City That's all I got. Um, enjoy the video. Like, subscribe, you know, share would be a fantastic thing. But, you know, that is what it is. And uh, leave me a comment. Tell me, you know what? Leave me a comment. Because I, I know I've got subscribers from all over, the, all over the country and a few places around the world. What is your favorite local... And it doesn't have to be one in your town, but your favorite local mom and pop, not chain, hobby store. And where is it located? And put it down in the comments so anybody that wants to can see it, find it, check it out. You know, and and if they if they have a uh, if they have a website, leave a link. Let, let us all support let us all support the hobby stores that support the hobbies that we love there peace out well hey everybody it's uh grady here at uncle sweetie's model works i am in ames iowa and we're going to um well hell i can't see the back side gonna stop at the take a peek at the hobby shop here in Ames and downtown nice little typical small medium-sized town downtown arts district um, I'm not prepared for that if you can see it's parking meter it does not take cards it only takes change or an app and I'm gonna be here not long enough to download an app so I'm going to run into the hobby shop, get a dollar and quarters, come back and pay the beast, and then uh, go inside and take a look. And I'll bring you with me. Walk down the aisles. Um, I already took a peek through and the stuff that you guys are interested in, the cars and everything, will be on the last. What I'll do is I'll start on this. This is a display case with a lot of Looks like die cast. And oh here's a few. This is actually lots of cool stuff in there. I haven't seen that arrow chief. Haven't seen that Clydesdale in a long time. That's pretty sharp. All their uh I like that shell, but it's out of my price range. All the uh, tractor trailers, you got the all all the uh, current stuff. 
and you walk in the door and you got trains then this is the hobby shop and he's got a lot of stuff you it's a hobby shop you had train tracks parts individual stuff Look at that selection of scenery stuff. Goodness gracious. I don't think my train place in Kansas City has that. It's, oh, wow. Little railroad scale. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of nice. All kinds of different parts and pieces. And oh, thanks. All right. Whatnot. I'll gladly take it. I can use it. Uh, look at this old guy right here. It's something else, no Lionel. Very cool, very cool. Look at all that rolling stock. Goodness. Get into airplanes. We got little balsa wood airplanes. Those are kind of neat. You just play with those flat. And the uh, wooden, oh, new gears, new gears. I always want to call them metal gear, metal gear solid, but that's not it. I have to come back and look at these. Nice. Matter of fact, I'm going to stop and look at Yep, I think oh, those are out of the price range today. Oh, the Harry Potter train. Oh, how much was the commission, though? There's a big oh, old, so goodness gracious. Well, He's got some cool stuff. On this other side, you've got Gundams and rockets on top. That's cool. So he really does. You know, Pinewood Derby on the back, some magazines and reference material stuff. How many did you oh, sell? Uncover the mic, Grady. That would help. More Gundams on this side. I was hoping because I'm in Ames, Iowa. <clears throat> to find a uh, Bandai G40 Industrial. I did not find one. And here we've got ships. All kinds of ships. Gundam to sci-fi, Star Trek. All that kind of fun stuff. A little more Gundam over there. This looks like you've got some assembled stuff in the cabinet. Assembled aircraft. Some nice work in there. We got models on the walls. Models hanging from the ceiling. This is just this is everything you want from a model shop. It's really cool. And what do you got here? Test oh wait, testers paint? Yeah, model masters. I don't see any metalizers though. I always want to look out for those. Good selection of Tamiya products. And more Model Masters. I'm going to have to come by and check that out. More kits on the walls. Space Shuttle Rockets. Aircraft. Those are some big old kits. Oh, you've got a uh, carrying Mr. Hobby. Paint, paint, paint. I'm gonna have to scoot through the Model Masters again. Ooh, old school testers. Die cast. Display cabinet. Here are models, model cars. And I see a lot of out of production stuff. A lot of new stuff. And this is almost a whole aisle. You got some simple quick builds on the bottom. And some Mobius. There's that Bronco half cab. Oh wow, a rickshaw kit. And I did see one that I may just not be able to leave here without. 
Uh, most of these are, matter of fact, almost all of these are new. There's an old testers Lamborghini. Some NASCAR stuff. Not a whole lot of NASCAR. Don't see that kit very often. Goodness. That Piranha race team. I think that's the first time I've ever seen that live and in person. This guy did one ten months ago. YouTube video of his shop, which I had already seen. One of the reasons I came up here. And some more aircraft. That's cool. That's oh, you it. must yeah. be Uncle Sweetie's model work. I am. Yeah, because it says, found this looking up info for the store. We'll be visiting there on August 31st on the way from Kansas City to Sterling, Illinois. Yep. Well, the shop owner knows who, knows who I am now. <laughs> yep, Uncle Sweetie's Model Works. I really was hoping that, man. You know, sorry for all the zooming and shaky. It's really going to be hard to leave that behind. Goodness. But, yeah. If, so if you're in Ames, Iowa, stop in here. It's a great hobby shop. I wish... I'll, I'll be honest, I wish I had a hobby shop this good in Kansas City, and I don't feel like we do. And that's going to be it for me. I'm going to peace out, like, subscribe, share, you know, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys soon.